Good morning guys and welcome back. So, if you guys know me and you've been following the channel or my Instagram for a while now, you guys know I'm live or die Bowden's car care products. They are local to where I live. They make absolutely fantastic products. But every time I go to Super Chef Auto to buy a Bowden's product, Chemical Guys products are staring me right in that face. And every time I look at them, I'm like, they look like a great product. I've seen great videos online. Why not try it? So I actually had some money left over in my Super Cheap Auto Plus account. It's like when you buy products from Super Cheap Auto, it's probably from more of the Bowden's own products I've been buying. Um, you get, if they go on sale, you get money back in your account. So I had enough money in my account to uh, buy my first Chemical Guys product. So today we'll be having a look at and reviewing the Bare Bones Undercarriage Spray by Chemical Guys. Now this is the first product I've ever used by them, so um, I'm really keen to see how they kind of match up to Bound Zone. They are kind of about the same in price. Um, I don't think they're as well known, or maybe well, more well known around the world, but um, less well known around um, Queensland and Australia, that sort of thing. So it's, I'm really keen to see what this product's actually like. So we'll give it a nice review. Apparently, from what I've seen online, this makes your undercarriage super black, and this is really good for like plastics in your wheel wells, and that sort of thing. So we're going to be doing the undercarriage of the Jeep I hate um, how dirty and crap the underside of the Jeep looks. I've, I have been looking for an undercarriage spray. Some people can spray on maybe once or every two months, maybe in between, it can't, it's going to last that long. I don't know. Um, so what we've done, we've actually done half of this um, last week. Um, I've done it, taped it up as you guys will see. Uh, I've done it last week and we've been driving it around for about a week to see if it actually stays black, to see how long it actually stays black for. It's been raining. Um, it's been wet so whether it comes off because it is an oil based product so I'd recommend wearing some gloves because your hands and stuff get super sticky. Come say hello Dee. Hello. Say hello. So we've got the two boys in the garage this morning um, and what we're going to be doing, we're going to be using this product as I said it gets super oily um, on your hands so I would recommend wearing some latex gloves or some gloves um, to stop all that oil residue on your hands. So let's have a look at the product and we can get underneath the camera. Underneath, mask it off the areas we want. We're trying to do half half, probably not exact. Um, and we'll give a good clean of a before and after and give a good review at the end on how long it's lasted, time to prep the surface, time to clean and how it's actually lasted and if it's worth the actual money and to see if we're going to buy some more chemical products in the end. So let's get one of those creepers and slide underneath the Jeep and see how we go. If, you've got, if you guys have used Chemical Guys products in the past, let me know in the comments below how you've got on with different products. They look good but time will tell how we get on. So let's have a look. Alright, so it's been about a week that we've uh, actually put the bare bones from Chemical Guys underneath the Jeep. So we've driven in a few different conditions. It's been rainy, it's been dirty, it's been all that kind of shit. And it's supposed to repel dirt and keep it cleaner for a lot longer. So we can put some lights underneath the Jeep, jump underneath it and see the difference to see if it's actually held up. Well, I mean, a week is going to show a little bit. It's not going to be a true indication how long it's actually going to last. I might do another uh, short YouTube, um, like shorts in maybe a month, two months to see the actual comparison on a longer trip 
maybe do some off-roading as well and chuck some mud on it and some proper dirt to see if it actually repels dirt and that sort of thing the stuff they actually say on the bottle but anyway let's jump underneath the jeep and see how well it's actually lasted over this week we've had a lot of rain um, and stuff like that so it could have washed off um, or not so let's jump underneath the jeep and have a look all right so that's the side we did with the bare bones from chemical guys and this is the side we didn't do we will focus and actually set in properly so you can see that that side's still quite dirty and that side is definitely a lot cleaner you can see where we actually made those marks with the tape on the diff housing you can see we've actually used the chemical guys so one thing I have noticed is when I first put the chemical guys bare bones on it was quite slippery leave like a real oily texture on your hands um, that texture is now gone it's quite smooth it must have set into the actual like metal or into the dirt um, must have really set in nice and properly so it's not kind of silicony um, like a wet look anymore it's quite matte um, and finished product um, and you see on these other sides we haven't done it it's quite dull and doesn't have too much color to it it's definitely lasted um, over the course of the week it could probably go over again to kind of fill in all the small gaps we probably missed because we did do it at night time at about 11 30 12 o'clock um, and then we can probably go over and do the whole other side here so it all matches in the other side so if you guys do have like lifted trucks um, they specialize well this is probably a product for lifted trucks so when you do see your chassis and stuff like that it looks nice and clean and shiny and all that kind of shit but also it would work really well if you're going to go sell your car um, it will present a lot nicer or if you're like me and really appreciate a nice clean chassis so all in all all in all I think it's lasted quite well um, it looks really nice um, and I like how it doesn't have that kind of greasy oily finish um, that it did when you first put it on because I do recommend wearing some gloves when you first apply it because it really gets over your hand and becomes really greasy and oily on your hand so I like how it's kind of dried out um, you know what tire shines like when you first spray it on it's all greasy kind of like flicks all over the place it was like that um, so I like how that's kind of dried out gone to like more of a matte finish so would I recommend this product Yes, it's not bad. Um, I will. I would like to see how long it will actually last over the course of about a month with more driving. Um, has made the underside of the Jeep look a lot better. Uh, would be great for lifted trucks, obviously, or reselling your car. Or like me, that really appreciates a really clean chassis. So it has done what exactly what it said. It's given the underside of the Jeep um, a really nice clean. Um, in terms of repelling dirt and stuff, it's really hard to tell without actually taking it off road um, and seeing. The difference afterwards on those two sides so we might look at doing something like that maybe on the back or on one of the side chassis rails but i might finish off cleaning up this front get a final shot of that um, but all in all for the price of it it's it's really good actually um, i don't mind it at all so uh, would i buy chemical guys uh would i buy chemical guys products again sure i probably would um, i'm really happy with this product it has said exactly how it's um supposed to do so yeah i would probably buy some of their products again just as how they go Pretty happy with this product um, so if you guys do like this video and you're happy with this video please hit the like, like and subscribe button and as always thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you guys next time sure.